Cool. So I'm Xavier Bauer. I'm a scientist at Billion to One, and we're a precision diagnostics company in Menlo Park, California. And I've actually been there for four years. I started straight out of undergrad. And uh, what drew me to work at, in R&D at Billion to One was basically two strengths. One being this patented QCT uh, molecular counting technology that allows us to sort of address different applications in diagnostics. So the big ones being prenatal and oncology applications. And then the other strength being this patient-centered focus of the whole organization. So whenever we're designing a test, you know, we're trying to make sure that it's as accurate as possible, as efficient as possible, and as broadly accessible as possible as well. So basically what uh, we're sharing in the abstract at ASCO this year is, is some clinical results from our North Star Select test. So this is a treatment selection test um, and it's a liquid biopsy. So what that means is that we're getting basically an oncologist orders a test, we get uh, a blood sample from them and we're going to look at the circulating tumor DNA in that sample and try to find what mutations are present uh, in the tumor. And what that allows us to do is say, okay, uh, basically based on the mutations that you find, you're eligible for certain treatments. And the results that we're sharing at ASCO this year highlight the increased sensitivity of our assay. So basically we had the, we had a clinical trial where we enrolled about 200 patients we said, whatever current liquid biopsy CGP test uh, the physician is using, that's great, but also let's run our test at the exact same time. And when we compared the mutations that were found with each test, we saw that our increased sensitivity led to more SNVs, indels, CNVs, basically actionable, clinically actionable mutations found on the assay. So this addresses an unmet clinical need because there's actually a really high proportion of patients that have tumors that don't shed very much cell-free DNA. Um, so basically an increased sensitivity test can provide actual data for those patients to oncologists that you wouldn't be able to pick up with other tests. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.